Hi everybody, this is Bronislava for Handmade Rukodielky and uh, look who's here with me today. Hello Yoda, say hello to our friends. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous today. I need to spend some time outside. Uh, anyway, so today's project actually is going to be knitting uh, another pair of fingerless gloves. I decided to uh, basically make them from cotton and uh, uh, for one reason. Uh, winter's coming, our hands are going to be very dry and so we've, I want to go and be putting cream on my hands and gloves and go to bed with them. So I'll be sleeping with these gloves. You know, we knitters need to take care of our hands so they look beautiful when we're knitting and crocheting. <laughs> So this glove is actually knitted with knit one pearl one pattern, so we have it stretchy, okay, uh, and it's going to go and fit really snugly and it will not come off in the bed when we're sleeping and uh, our hands are being healed. Uh, as you know, this part always gets really raw in the winter time, so we need this and sometimes also these knuckles over here. So all this needs to be covered with our glove. Because this uh, glove is sm uh, very small, it's for very small hands, um, wo small woman's hands, uh, I started on 30 stitches. Okay, so I will cast on 30 stitches. So you do the same, cast on 30 stitches. If you need to start on more, you can start on more. Uh, also please see in my video, I mean under the video in description, I have a link and there will be written pattern, free written pattern on my blog. I cast it on 30 stitches, actually I had to recast because my tail wasn't long enough. So make sure that your tail is long enough when you're casting on. And again, I do have a video how to cast on. And now, what I will do is, I will knit one and purl one. Okay, so knit one, purl one, and knit one, and purl one. And I will show it to you also in English style. This is continental style. So let me show it to you in English style. So you will knit one. And purl one. And you will do this all the way to the end of this row, okay? Just do the ribbing. Now we need to put our... I always forget uh, to put the yarn bag when I am... Uh, doing English style and you know what happens if you don't put your yarn back, right? You will do yarn over. So that's why you need to put that yarn back when you're knitting. Okay? So uh, when I'm finished with my row, I will uh, show you how I go and uh, join my uh, stitches into a circle, okay? And I will continue with my continental style. I am finished with my first row and I will move my stitches onto my other double pointed needles and I will use two more um, to uh, divide my uh, stitches. So I will put 10, um, 10 stitches on first needle, 10 stitches on second needle, and then I will leave 10 stitches on my um, initial needle, okay? So here we will have 10 stitches. Now we need 
need to join it into a circle okay so make sure it make sure again it does not twist in here like this okay it would be horrible horrible looking ugly 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 now you go and move your uh, knit in such way that you have your tail over here you have your yarn over here but it needs to be actually in the back so let me see you do need to put it together like this because you will start knitting in around this way okay in that direction and this needs to be in the back over there because we will be uh, working with the uh, first stitch is knit stitch okay now uh, I usually use this first stitch from cast on and I put it together with first stitch okay with first stitch over here that we will be knitting and I twist it so it becomes really tight you know I'm showing this uh, thing also on a video where I'm teaching you how to cast on double pointed needles okay so um, I twisted my first uh, I mean the last one or whatever very first one cast on stitch and I'm going to combine it with very first knitted stitch on this needle okay and I will knit these two stitches okay so just knit the stitch and if you're knitting um, continental I mean uh, English style then you do the same thing like this right you just knit it like that all right so let me go and show it to you first in uh, English style so we will do knit stitch and tighten it up okay make sure you tighten this first stitch as much as possible move your um, yarn forward and make your pearl stitch and again we will knit and pearl you know uh, oops again wrong 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 we need to go back here okay and knit now we need to go forward and pearl the stitch so just knit and pearl uh, your stitches all the way to the end of the row oops you see I do it all the time can you believe it this is not funny don't do it you're gonna have extra stitches there that don't belong in there okay now let me go and start knitting with continental style so I don't make any mistakes here okay so now uh, I am doing knit and pearl stitches so this is my knit and pearl so you do all the way to the end that is going to be your second row you will finish second row and then do 18 more rows so total 20 rows okay just knit in the round 20 rows I am finished with my uh, 20 rows and you can see that it's uh, exactly the same like my uh, first glove and now we will be working on this part right here so basically what we need to do is we need to widen up this area for our thumb okay from here to here my first row I'm not going to be uh, adding any stitches just yet but I will prepare or prep my thumb area over here we have knit pearl knit and we will make we will turn these three stitches into knit stitches okay so we just will knit three stitches one two three and now we will continue doing again what we were doing before this entire row okay so we will do pearl knit pearl knit okay so we will pearl knit pearl knit and do 
this all the way to the end of the row where you basically where you finish or and then you will, will be starting a new row okay and I'll show you what to do next uh, let me show you the uh, now the pearl stitch with English style because that's what is next over here so pearl stitch and knit stitch okay and pearl stitch and like I said continue all the way to the end and we are ready to knit our 22nd row and this is the row where we will start uh, our increases okay so what we will need to do is we will increase first we will knit first stitch okay and then we will knit below the stitch that we just knitted which is over here we knitted this stitch okay but we will go under and we will knit this stitch one more time but it's right below it okay now we will knit one stitch and now we are supposed to knit this stitch but we need to knit first below it it's going to be a mirror image okay so below it and now we will knit this stitch okay so we increase by two stitches and you will see that the original knitted stitches are on the outside and then increased increased stitches are on the inside and then there is this stitch that is regularly knitted okay and this is my mark marker so I just move it and now we will again do knit and I mean pearl pearl knit and pearl knit pearl and knit all the way to the end this is our 23rd row and what we will do is we will knit five stitches and then do our ribbing pearl knit pearl knit pearl knit all the way to the end okay so that's what we will do and we will do this actually in this row and the next row we will do these two rows exactly the same knit five stitches let me show it to you in English style okay so we will knit five stitches and tighten all your stitches tighten them all up okay tighten so you have that uh, springy so it's springy because otherwise if you don't tighten it up it's not going to be um, springy okay so that's one two this is our third knitted stitch fourth knitted stitch and five and now after we move our marker we will do our ribbing and we need to start with our um, uh, pearl stitch and now knit stitch and tighten oops again I always do that move that yarn back when you're doing knit stitch okay and yarn forward when you're doing pearl stitch okay and tighten your stitches and I'm gonna go and move my yarn so I can knit with my continental style and pearl and knit all the way to the end and then do the same row again the same repeat this row one more time okay so I knitted my two rows and uh, now we are again in an increase row okay so now we have 
we have to work with five stitches. So we will knit this uh, stitch, increase, knit three stitches, increase, and then knit this stitch. Okay. So basically, the, all these five stitches are gonna be uh, knitted a uh, regular way, but then we will increase below below this stitch and below this stitch we will increase our stitches we will make one extra stitch there so we will first knit stitch okay and now we need to knit below this stitch okay we have this stitch that we knitted we need to knit below it okay so we will knit below it and we increased okay now we will knit three stitches knit 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 now we will again increase make one and we will again below it so this is the stitch that we will knit later on but we need to uh, increase below it below Okay, and now we will knit the stitch. Okay, and we will have seven stitches. Okay, and move your marker and do your ribbing. Do your ribbing. Pearl, because you have to start first with pearl, because that's our pearl stitch, and this is our knit stitch. And pearl, and knit. And do that all the way to the end. So I'm finished with my increase row and now two rows I will do again the same way where I will knit these seven stitches and then do the ribbing. Okay? And I will do that twice. So we will knit seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay. Move my marker. And now I will do the ribbing. And I have to start with my pearl stitch. So first pearl, and then we will do knit and pearl all the way to the end. And then we do the same way the next row, exactly like this row, the same way. I am finished with my two rows where I did knit seven and then do the ribbing. Okay, and this is another row where we need to go and increase, and we will do it again. We will knit first stitch, increase below it. Okay, we will increase right there, then knit five stitches, then we will increase again below this stitch the one next to the marker we will increase right there and then knit that stitch okay let me show it to you in English style now knit this stitch okay now we need to knit below this stitch we will knit below it I hear some animal outside. My door is open. Okay, now we will knit five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now we will again increase by knitting below this stitch, which is right there. Okay. And don't let this stitch go down yet when we need to knit into it in a regular way. Okay. And now you should have nine stitches. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, nine. And we will do our ribbing, okay? So we need to move this uh, yarn forward and 
purl the stitch, okay, knit the stitch, oops, again, I always do that, knit the stitch, purl, you know why I do that? Because I don't knit this way on a regular basis. I really think that Continental is much easier and faster, but that's in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, so we will finish this row doing ribbing. Okay. And then we will uh, do our two rows again, like we've done before, okay? Now that I'm finished with my increase, I will knit my nine stitches and then do ribbing. And I will do that in two rows, okay? So this row, and then I will repeat it one more time. So we will knit... nine stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine move my marker and start working on my ribbing okay and purl that's our first purl stitch and then knit and purl and knit and purl and knit okay and do it finish the row and do it one more time so now that we're finished with our uh, thumb part where we have these nine stitches over here we will move these nine stitches onto our hook I use this hook, it's size E, but anything is going to work that you can grab the yarn. Actually, the holder that I will be putting it on is a thick yarn, all right? I'm not going to be using a regular holder because we need to bend these stitches, and holder doesn't bend, okay? Now we need to get rid of this, we don't need it anymore. And we will use a thick yarn, use the thickest yarn that you have at home, okay? And just gently move it. Let me go move this a little bit down so you can see better. Uh, hold this and, and basically uh, pull this yarn, the thick yarn, through each stitch. And move the this little uh, pointy tip, turn it down and pull up a little bit so you can pull it through each stitch, okay? If you need to stop, you stop and pull it through. When you pull up, you will create a little area over here, okay, that you can pull the yarn through. Like a, like a little hole there. Okay. Pull it through. Now my yarn is also fairly long, so I don't lose my stitches. Okay, so make sure that you have a long yarn. My, my dog in the background is trying to go and lay down in the bed. <laughs> She, she was trying to make her bed, you know, she just, with her paws, she makes, uh, she's trying to gather the body. Okay, so now, um, now I have to explain one thing. We finish over here with uh, a pearl stitch, and over here we started with pearl stitch. So in between these stitches, we need a uh, knit stitch. So I will solve it this way. I will just knit underneath in here, 
under the stitch again I will add one more stitch right here right here okay I will knit under it oops one more time because we're connecting it like this this is our thumb part right so one more time we will just pull that yarn through and that's our knit stitch and now we will purl that stitch don't take it off right because we cannot take it off we just need to purl the stitch and we will do our ribbing okay, let me go and make sure that I tighten up this stitch you can do it this way you pull on this and then pull on this and that way you will tighten up this stitch let's do, let's do it one more time see you need to pull on that stitch make it tight and then pull this stitch as well okay because yeah, you don't want a really huge gap right in between these two needles between the third and first needle you don't want the gap okay you want as little gap as possible okay so we did knit stitch below and purl stitch in the, in the stitch that we were supposed to knit and now we will continue doing knit and purl knit and purl this is our first uh, row after we joined in a circle again okay so we're starting uh, again so we will now knit and purl uh, 18 rows and then we will bind off so knit and purl 18 rows and when you're finished with it I will show you how I will bind off I also have videos on binding off so uh, you can check my videos go to my go to my channel and scroll and it's one of the very first videos it's like I don't know uh, might have been like in first 20 videos that I have done it's a really long time I think I've done it in can't remember 2011 2010 2011 2012 something like that okay okay here I am finished with my first row after I joined after I did my thumb and I still need to do 17 more rows so I will see you when I'm finished with 17 more rows okay I am finished with my 18 rows of knit and purl knit and purl stitches okay again I have 30 of them in here 30 stitches and now I am ready to bind off my entire row so you know how to do that right and if you don't you can watch one of my videos which I will actually post over here um, so you will need first two stitches actually this one was supposed to be purled so we will purl this stitch and then I will move that one stitch over now this is knit stitch so I will knit it and I will and I will pull that stitch over this is my purl stitch so I will purl this stitch and I will move this stitch over and continue all the way to the last stitch now that we have this last stitch I will put it on my hook and I will connect it to my first stitch over here with the uh, with the chain and last slip stitch and cut off your yarn and uh, later on we will weave on uh, we will weave in all the ends okay and 
Now we are ready to knit our thumb. What we need to do is we need to transfer our nine stitches from the yarn onto our needles. And I will uh, distribute them um, this way, three stitches on each needle. And I usually do it slowly and carefully so I don't lose my stitches. So I will, I will grab this, pull it up a little bit, and from the back I insert my needle. Okay, and now I pull my yarn. And again, here is my stitch, right there. Again, I will, from the back, the stitch is facing me this way, and I go from the back. Okay, and I will pull my yarn out of that stitch. And again, this is the back. I will put my needle in there. Make sure that you don't uh, split your yarn, okay? So that's three stitches on one needle. Now, if I would have uh, metal uh, needles, it would be very slippery. That's why uh, it's better to knit with um, bamboo needles. Okay, so I went again, as you see, from the back to the front, and I'm taking my yarn out. Again, over here, it's not the blue one, and we have to go... If I position it like this, that I know I have to go here, this way, from the back to the front. Okay, and do this with all of your stitches. So I have three more stitches left. one stitch at a time okay this one you see it's it's kind of going in like this you see because it's pulling so you need to pull on this yarn you need to pull on it so you can see the stitch the last one and it's from the back to the front Okay, so now that we have done this, we will start knitting our stitches, but also, as you see, we have a gap over here. So I will basically put my needle through this one here and this one here and I will put it on this first needle. Okay, let me go and show you. So basically you have this gap toward your body, okay? And we will be knitting this way. So when you pull those two stitches there, Put it on your first needle, both of them, okay? So you will have basically one, two, three, four, five stitches, okay? In that direction we will be knitting, like this. Take your yarn, take your yarn and start knitting two together. Knit these two stitches together, okay? It's hard to do it. Hold on one second, we need to... Oh, you have to hold that stitch somehow with that yarn. Okay, you can also do it this way, look. 
you could do it if it's going to be hard take your hook pull the yarn through and then put it back on your needle okay that's another way how to start uh, this now uh, this stitch is gonna be uh, getting really long because it's first stitch okay so make sure that this tail is long enough okay that it's not too short otherwise you will lose this stitch and knit entire row knit 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 of course you can knit uh, English style right I don't have to show it to all of you people right how to knit the English style because the outcome of the knit stitch is exactly the same okay it doesn't matter if I am knitting continental or um, English the stitches come out exactly the same okay so if you see me knitting continental you and you knit English that's okay because you can do it in English just do it your way okay now we are finished with our first row and this when we will be knitting it's gonna go and get big so uh, we will be pushing this end actually to the inside of the thumb so I knitted one row and I will knit seven more rows we will later on pull on that stitch to make it tight and then we will weave in all the ends okay so knit another row and after you're finished with knitting another row knit six more rows total eight rows okay just knit around and remember that you started knitting these rows right here okay not down here not here this is your beginning right here okay I am finished with my eight rows you know you remember this is our first row with that big one that we need to tighten up so one two three four five six seven eight okay and now we will do our ribbing again knit purl knit purl okay so this is gonna be our knit and purl and we have 10 stitches so you will repeat this five times total knit and this one is purl now this one is knit and purl knit and and purl now purl 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 not knit purl and knit and purl and that's our first row and I will do two more rows and then I will bind off okay so just so now again knit and purl and after I'm finished with this row, I will do one more row of knit and purl stitches. This way um, it will not be curling up. And purl. Knit and purl. Okay, so that's three rows and now we will bind off. So we will knit first stitch purl next stitch and now we will take the first stitch over the second stitch that's our first stitch knit because this is our knit stitch and pull that first stitch over second stitch now this is our purl stitch so we will purl it and we will pull that stitch over 
the second stitch and continue like this uh, all the way to the end and here I am almost done and we will do what we did what we did with the stitch over here we will do the same thing over here okay so we will put our hook in here and we will connect it over here to this stitch make a stitch and 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 uh, and the um, knot and we will cut it off and now we will just weave all the ends in so we have four ends we have this end this end this end and one on the inside this this long end this that long stitch so you will what I, I'll show you how to do this one here what I will do is I will pull on it and take a hook and choose one of these stitches maybe this one here something where it looks really strong okay I will pull like this through that stitch and then um, pull the yarn through again and you will make a knot so it's gonna be stronger and tighter over here look I'll show it to you you see it's it's not as huge and now you just need to weave that stitch in and I usually on the inside I usually weave it along this row of that stitch right there I just go from one to another I weave it around and you won't be really able to see it on the other side so here are the gloves that I have finished the ones with the uh, ribbing knit one per one ribbing okay as you see it's nice and snuggly and all I need to do is uh, smother my hands in cream and put these gloves on and go to bed I want to say to all of you thank you very much for watching my video and I will see you another time